Hello, peoples of the internet. My name is Conquer, and I just came back from this crazy adventure. I went to a government facility, and they had, they had this gravity gun. Uh, there was a gun that let you delete matter. You could mess with physics, and... I'm under house arrest now. They said I'm lucky to be alive. Well, I guess the next best thing in real life is video games. In 1998, Valve released a little game called Half-Life, which ended up becoming a very popular title. Uh, got a sequel, unsurprisingly, called Half-Life 2 in 2004. Uh, and later that year, a man by the name of Gary Newman released a mod for Half-Life 2, known as Gary's Mod. Gary's Mod, or Gmod for short, is a sandbox modification of Valve's popular sci-fi game, allowing you to do pretty much whatever you want with assets in the game. Uh, the mod received many updates until it became a full-on standalone game in 2006, as Gary's team, Facepunch Studios, and Valve had struck a deal to release it commercially. Now, I'd say Gary's Mod is my favorite game of all time. It's only a little bit ahead of King K. Roller. Uh, a lot of that may come from the community-made content that can be downloaded from the Steam Workshop, but I'd argue that the base game is just as enjoyable. And with such an amazingly memorable game at hand, I thought I'd give my thoughts on it. So let's get to it, and fast, the feds are heading here to check up on me as we speak. Let's start with the menu. It's pretty simple, just some cool renders staring you down. Now onto the gameplay itself, you have a wide selection of tools at your disposal. There's the physics gun, which lets you move objects around. There's the gravity gun, which serves a somewhat similar function, but can also fire out objects as projectiles. Ooh, and there's also the various tool guns that do different things like spawn effects, thrusters, explosives, ropes, etc. Uh, the spawn menu from which you get these tools also allows you to spawn in various objects. You've got your essentials, bathtubs, toilets, mattresses, cars, creepy baby dolls, actual living beings, the lifeless bodies of any being that exists within the source games you own. Oh right, I forgot to mention, Gary's Mod will connect with any of the Valve games you have installed, like Team Fortress 2, Counter-Strike Source, and Portal. It also connects with some non-Valve Source games, like the Stanley Parable. Now, I'd say the physics in Gary's Mod are great. They work well and are decently realistic. Now let's talk about the sound design. The game doesn't have any particular music, at least without any add-ons, but the sound effects are nice. To be fair, I'm pretty sure most, if not all, of the sounds come from Half-Life 2 itself, so I guess a lot of these compliments are technically going to Valve and their crew. Never mind, I've decided everything in this game is garbage. Now, there's definitely a bit of difficulty with reviewing a game that's built off of another game made by a completely different company. But here's the thing, I'm reviewing the actual contents of the game itself, not the skills of the developers themselves. And that's why I will be giving credit to absolutely no one for anything, including things outside of this game. It's time to plagiarize this entire fan fiction. I got sued. Let's talk animations. They sure are the definition of hard work and oh god, how does anyone have fun doing this? The animations in Gary's Mod are very well done, and that is to be expected considering they come from Half-Life 2 itself. Uh, there's also the game controls which run perfectly and smoothly. Oh wait, those also come from Half-Life 2. Well, how about the nice looking models with somewhat realistic textures that have interesting early 2000s styles? That's also from Half-Life 2, dang it! Despite being a really fun game that I'm sure took plenty of its own work and dedication to creating, Gary's Mod sometimes just doesn't feel like its own thing. Uh, it's essentially a mod of Half-Life 2 considering it started that way, and it's purely built off of that game. It just doesn't feel like Face Punch Studios really got the chance to show off their true skills with this game. Well, hello there. 
Back in 2015, Gary Newman said that a successor to Gmod was in early development, and in 2017, that game was revealed to be called Sandbox, with an and sign. Uh, it's a fully original game that started out in Unreal Engine, but has now been built in the Source 2 engine. The game isn't publicly available at the moment, but certain people have been given access to it. From what I've seen from the behind the scenes posts, it looks amazing. Despite Sandbox happening, I don't think Gary's Mod will ever die. Whether it be due to the infamous GM Construct map or the insane variety of add-ons, Gary's Mod is an extremely memorable and nostalgic game for many. And even if Sandbox does end up replacing Gary's Mod as a better version of it, I don't think anyone will ever forget the truly incredible experience that is Gary's Mod. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to find a hammer big enough to break this ankle monitor.